Honda was shut down for many months because of the pandemic. I'm not sure if they're back up and running again or not. Now, good morning, YouTube. This is Cruise Man. Just about to head home from the grocery store here at uh, Market Street in Plano, Texas. I just uh, got finished with breakfast at Awake with Don Smith and I needed to do a little shopping for the 4th of July. I want to wish everybody a happy 4th of July. Hope it's uh, nice where you are. It is an absolutely beautiful day here in the Dallas-Fort Worth area today. Anyway, my name is Cruise Man and welcome to my motovlog on this 4th of July 2021. If you are not yet a subscriber, and I know that about 70% of the people who watch my videos, according to YouTube, are not subscribers. And, uh, you know, it doesn't cost anything. It's completely free. If you have a passion for motorcycles, doesn't matter what kind of bike, doesn't matter what kind of uh, motorcycle you ride, or even if you don't ride a motorcycle, if you have a passion for motorcycles, you should probably click that little subscribe button down below. You know, the science says that if you subscribe to this channel, you will get a lot more enjoyment out of motorcycles. So you don't want to be a science denier, right? You want to follow the science and click that subscribe button. And don't forget to click that little bell icon because then YouTube will notify you when we come out with new videos. And we are coming out with new videos all the time. I just released a video a couple of days ago talking about my predictions or my wish list for the 2022 Honda Goldwing. And I guess you could even extend it out to 2022-2023 Honda Goldwing. I think there might even be a question as to whether or not Honda will even have a 2022 year model. Maybe they'll just wait till 2023. I know that Corvette is doing that. I think they're skipping the 2022 year model just because of the shi uh, chip shortage. <clears throat> but will Honda do that? I don't know. I know the Honda factory was shut down <laughs> in Japan due to the pandemic for quite some time and that's why some of you that have been uh, hankering for a 2021 Goldwing have had a hard time finding them. Uh, the, the demand has outstripped the supply because Honda was shut down for many months because of the pandemic. I'm not sure if they're back up and running again or not. but. I know a few of you, I keep getting emails and messages on YouTube and Facebook saying that you just bought a 2021, so there must be some out there somewhere, because just last week I got a couple of messages from people who bought my videos, and I'm talking about my maintenance videos for the 2018 to 2021 Goldwing. I did get some messages from people who just bought the videos saying they just got a brand new 2021, so they must be available. And for those of you that watched that video on my wish list for the 2022 Goldwing, I don't know if you noticed it or not, but I am now using a teleprompter. I just got a new teleprompter in the other day. So when I'm doing videos in the studio, I don't know if I'll use it on all my videos, but it does help for me to write out kind of a script of what I want to say and what I want to cover so I don't leave anything out, don't forget anything. So that was the first video that I've done for Cruise Man's Garage where I used, it's actually not true, I think I might have done it on the Bond Armor 2.0 Level 2 video too. But anyway, I'm still getting used to the teleprompter. It takes some getting used to using one. And um, hopefully it'll keep me from having to reshoot a lot of segments because when I'm just talking off the top of my head, 
I tend to forget to mention things. Even if I have notes, and it's very clumsy to use notes while you're talking in a studio, because you have to constantly look down at the notes and then you have to edit all that out and it just it's just more work than it's worth so writing out a script which does take more time uh, can usually so far the the three videos i've done i've done one for my cruise channel cruisereport.com uh, youtube channel and by the way if you're interested in cruising check out that channel i'm putting up a lot of new videos and I've used it for two of my Cruise Man's Garage videos, and I think I like it. I can usually do everything in one take, in one shot, instead of having to come back and reshoot certain scenes, and it's just a pain. So hopefully this teleprompter uh, will make producing my videos, at least the studio portions, much easier. It doesn't help me with the motor vlogs, obviously, because I'm just talking off the top of my head. So let me know what you think of that video. And at the same time, uh, a lot of you I know are at, or I guess you're still at Wingding, or maybe some of you have already come home from Wingding. And if you have, I, I, obviously I didn't make it this year. I had so many projects and things I'm working on that I just couldn't get away. And I'd be curious to know, for those of you that went to Wingding, what was your impression? How many people uh, do you think were there, or did they announce how many people were there? I'm uh, just curious how it compa if you've been to the previous Wingdings, how did it compare to the ones in Knoxville or Nashville? I'm just I'm just curious. I you know no other reason other than my own uh, curiosity. So just let me know. I've got a couple other new videos coming up this week that I'm working on. I'm supposed to be getting in very soon the newer 5G version of the Monimoto GPS tracker. I uh, have not received it yet, but I they did reach out to me about it and I responded and said, yeah, send it on and I'll give it a review. But I haven't seen it yet. I'm c I continue to use the Invoxia GPS tracker. And I've been pretty pleased with it so far. I know a lot of you have ordered that through my Amazon page. And uh, I'd be curious if you have ordered the Invoxia or if you have the Invoxia, what are your impressions? What do you think of it? Just curious, anxious to know what your feedback is. So I'm just going to enjoy this beautiful ride home. It's only about 80 degrees outside right now. It's cloudy, so there's no you know, sun beating down on me or anything. Of course, it's still morning, but it really is no wind. I mean, maybe five mile an hour wind is just absolutely perfect. What's the weather like where you are? We've actually been pretty lucky so far this summer. I keep feeling like the other shoe's going to drop any day, and it's going to hit 110 degrees, but it hadn't yet. I don't think we've even hit 100 degrees yet. But I know a lot of you are suffering through some really hot weather right now, but we have just been very fortunate. We had a lot of rain uh, a couple of days ago, and I think that kind of cooled things off. We had a little cool front come through. And I don't think it's going to top much over 90 for the next week. So we should have good riding weather uh, this week in the Dallas-Fort Worth area. If you ever planned on coming to Dallas-Fort Worth, this might be a good week to do it. For those of you that maybe live in Arkansas or, or Oklahoma or New Mexico, if you want to come to Texas, now be a good week because it's pretty cool right now, at least in the Dallas-Fort Worth area. Oh, and by the way, what are you planning to do for the 4th of July? I'm going to cook out hamburgers today. We're going to have burgers and ice cream and cake. And what is your celebration? What are you going to do for the 4th of July? Are you going to shoot off fireworks? Or are you going to a fireworks display? We can usually sit in our backyard and see fireworks from Plano and Addison and all the surrounding towns. We can just sit in our backyard and see them. So that's what we do every year. What do you do on the 4th of July? What is your 4th of July uh, tradition? So anyway, that's it for me. I'm going to shut up, let you guys 
Have a great 4th of July. Thanks for joining me today. I'll see you on the next Cruise Man's Motor Vlogs. Don't forget to click that like button.